Yes, very indeed. The trip to Namibia um, is um, firstly uh, a precursor or precursed by a joint permanent commission, uh, which is going to be taking place tomorrow uh, in Vinduk, uh, which is going to be the ninth joint permanent commission between Zimbabwe and uh, Namibia. And then, secondly, it is then going to be uh, 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 supported by or followed by a state visit by His Excellency the President uh, Idim Nangagwa, who is going to have a state visit to Namibia tomorrow. And he will also have an opportunity uh, to open, officially commission the dry port in, in the world of Spain. Uh, this dry port uh, was, uh, it was land which was donated by the uh, uh, Namibian government uh, to Zimbabwe so that we could build a, a dry port. And that, that dry port has now been completed and it has been developed through the uh, uh, contribution by RMS uh, um, uh, transport uh, here in Zimbabwe. And uh, we expect that this is going to be one of the gateway, particularly to South America, to West Africa, and to a number of other countries in, in that part of the world, uh, so that we can then use that route of the Caprif Strip up to here. That is within the framework of the continental free trade area uh, that this is uh, being done. Secondly, the Joint Commission itself is going to be deliberating over a number of issues, uh, some of which uh, you would recall that Namibia is a very close political friend to Zimbabwe. And Namibia uh, has uh, interacted closely economically. Uh, they provided funds, for example, to rehabilitate the uh, Wange uh, power station uh, against uh, the provision of power uh, of uh, 80 megawatts which is uh, being exported to Namibia as a way of payment. But uh, there are a number of technical and uh, scientific agreements which are going to be signed, uh, which also uh, indicate that Namibia would require teachers uh, in various uh, areas uh, so that uh, they can then develop their innovative uh, uh, areas. We, we are also looking at various other, including the conclusion, at least of the double uh, uh, avoidance of double taxation agreement, which has got to be followed up and discussed uh, between Zimbabwe and Namibia, um, and then we, we so that we, we we could then perfect the trade uh, which is in existence. So it's a really very important uh, exercise which is going to be taking place between tomorrow and and Friday. Uh, so that um, uh, the two countries can maximize uh, economical, economic benefits which are uh, commensurate with their political relations.